Hi there, I'm Chloe. Welcome to my spring home tour. This is a, one of the first times I've ever not made my wreath for my front door, but I could not have made this beautiful wreath for what it cost me. I went to Grandin Road and got this for just $149 and it's gorgeous. I think it'll be seeing lots of springs on my front porch. I made these two beautiful baskets to greet my guests as they come. I think these will stay right here till Mother's Day. I might put the bunnies away, but I think these are great for welcoming guests. I love to change out my doormats seasonally, but some of them can get really expensive. This one, under $10 at Walmart. I will share all the links in the notes below. Let's start in the dining room. My dining table is all set for a more formal, probably an Easter dinner table. One of the things I really like to do when my guests come is I like them to get a little bit of a wow factor. So I usually start with a big centerpiece on the table, but this is way too big to have on the table while dining. So what I do is when it's time to come to the table to dine is I just lift this up and I move it to the side. If you have a sideboard, that's a great place to move it to. And then I have something small that I replace it with. You probably didn't even notice those others right there in the middle. And they just have the same flowers that I used in my big centerpiece. So I still have a centerpiece down the middle of the table, but it's not going to block the view. I have a beautiful uh, tablecloth from House and Garden that features shades of blue and lavender hydrangeas. And I've used a pierced white uh, stoneware charger and Larrabee Road Platinum China from Kate Spade. This is still available. And then these are uh, Pioneer Woman Jade. It's kind of a knockoff on Jadeite, a salad plate. And then these assorted little bunnies these came from Amazon, aren't those cute? So I'm all ready to entertain right here. We don't spend a whole lot of time here in our formal living room, but I have these beautiful artificial parrot tulips. I can never find those live. So when I found this really high quality um, artificial ones, I'm like, I want those. And then I um, tried silver leafing eggs this year. I'll be sharing how to do these on the blog and they are just really pretty. I painted these in all different shades of blue and then I silver leafed them. I'm really happy with how they turned out and they look great in this room. And the only other thing I have in here, of course, is a dish full of candy. So as long as I keep Lily out of it. And I have a couple of my little Stuban glass bunnies on display. Welcome to the family room where we do a lot of hanging out. I've changed up my coffee table, uh, all decorated for spring with some bright yellow tulips. And these adorable little chicks that I found are on my book stack. And I'd been shopping and shopping and shopping because everybody told me they're finding these artificial chocolate uh, bunnies at home goods. And I couldn't find one and couldn't find one. I even bought a real one, but guess what? Yesterday I found one at Home Goods. So he's here, and then my beautiful candle that comes on every night. And I got, I've been wanting one of these really big trays. It was on sale, half price at Home Goods. So I am all set for spring right here. And then I decorated the mantle. My favorite thing, of course, I can't grow um, cherry blossom trees here in. Uh, Florida in Central Florida and um, so I really hunted to find some really beautiful artificial cherry blossoms and they just add such a punch of color to this room I just love them and then one of my other favorite finds this year was these little wooden bunnies I just wish I had bought more because now you cannot get them these are from Walmart um, they were like 5 98 and I liked them so much, I had a friend who uh, was able to order more online, and I have more coming. I'm gonna, I'm gonna save them. Uh, you can see over on the blog, I have uh, done a table and put them on the table. So I have five for now, but I'm gonna have more. And then over here, again, some of these really 
a beautiful real touch hydrangeas and a beautiful tulipery with pink tulips. So this is all set to bring me joy every time I walk into the room. One of the easiest things you can do to add a touch of spring, or in this case, kind of Easter, to your um, family room, your sofa, whatever, is to pick up some pillow covers and just switch out the pillow covers on your pillows. And besides that, that way, they're really easy to store. They just zip off and you can fold them up and store them in a cupboard. So I have added these cute little bunny ones because my granddaughters are coming to visit for Easter and I thought they would just love these. Welcome to my farmhouse table, all set for a wonderful spring meal. Now this is something that would be appropriate for St. Patrick's Day, for Easter, any spring occasion. I have decorated this with a cabbage theme. First, I have put down an artificial grass runner, and then I've taken a couple of a fresh live ca cabbages and cut them out and made fresh flower centerpieces in them. I've used green hydrangea, pink peonies, pink tulips, pink ranunculus, some white uh, chrysanthemums, some white daisy mums. Um, I think that covers everything that I put in those. And I have posted on the blog how to uh, make your own cabbage centerpieces. I have used cabbage leaf placemats. I would love to tell you those are still available, but those are from Pier 1 uh, many years ago. And same thing on the napkin rings that are little baby cabbages. And I've alternated my napkins uh, going with the green and pink. Some are, of my napkins are green and some are pink. And what I've done is I have these pretty um, white cabbage uh, salad plates and then I've put those on top of, again, the Pioneer Woman uh, Jade dinner plates. And underneath those, I put these soft pink chargers. And these are from Z Gallery. And I know a lot of the Z Gallery stores have closed, but these are still available online. And um, I have some contemporary um, pink and gold uh, flatware that I'm using with those and just some plain clear crystal wine glasses. We are expecting a 91 degree day here this weekend. I know it may still be snowing where you are, but we are kind of past spring. <laughs> so these are decorative cabbages that I had growing out in my yard, but with 91 degrees, they were gonna be done. So it was a perfect opportunity for me to cut these and bring them inside. And I have highlighted them with a couple of artificial cabbages, and this was the perfect time to style this cabbage-themed uh, tablescape. So I'm all ready when my uh, daughter and my granddaughters arrive, we're ready to dine. Like so many people, I spend a lot of time in my kitchen. Kitchen is my heart of my home, and I love my giant kitchen island. Recently, we brought this pot in from our front porch, uh, we've struggled over the years with how to fill it. I've done artificial orcas, all kinds of things, green plants, ferns, but now we've been rotating live plants and these beautiful pink hydrangea just seem the perfect thing for springtime. So they're finding a home here now and then they will get planted out in a shady spot in my yard. And of course I have some wonderful treats. Um, this adorable little bunny bowl. Look at this bunny. He is climbing right up in there to eat those pastel M&Ms. This was a gift that was sent to me by Arthur Court and they have the cutest little things that go with him but I love this and I am sure the granddaughters are going to be headed right for this corner of the island. Over here by my cooktop I have when I was looking for that um, artificial chocolate bunny. I ordered this one and he was a little bigger than I thought he was. So he has found a home here. Um, I do think that uh, if he was chocolate, somebody's gonna have a really big tummy ache or this is gonna last you like till Halloween, but he's not real. So then down here at this end, I have a tray 
Um, I like to keep some things out. This uh, is a spooner. I did not know what this was. And my friend Mary from Life at Bellaterra taught me that. And she sent me this beautiful blue spooner. And you can keep some silverware right out handy. Some more little treats and some bunny themed kitchen towels and cocktail napkins and a beautiful swan tureen that my husband bought me when we were out antiquing a few weekends ago. For my husband and I, this is where we usually dine, just the two of us. This is my wonderful little breakfast nook. I love it and I also sit here and work a lot. But to share with you today, I have decorated it for Easter with a Peter Rabbit theme. And I have picked up all of these uh, Peter Rabbit themed things from Pottery Barn a few years ago. And I get them out every couple of Easter's and to go with Peter Rabbit in the garden, I made this wonderful carrot centerpiece with white hydrangeas and orange tulips. And, um, oh, Hester and Cook cabbage placemats. Aren't those pretty? They seem to go right with Peter in the garden. A couple of other things that I switch out seasonally and I've done for spring is I have switched out my plates here on my plate rack with some springy ones with hydrangeas and butterflies. And then around the corner here for springtime, I have switched out my wreaths with uh, lavender wreaths. Thanks so much for visiting. I hope you enjoyed my spring home tour. You can find lots more over at CelebrateAndDecorate.com. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time right here.